Um, I think it really will make um, a massive difference. Um, often people um, in health centres and at hospitals um, are the only people really that get access um, to victims of domestic abuse um, and have the ability to get them on their own because often victims of domestic abuse aren't allowed out on their own and are often accompanied um, by the perpetrator. So it does make common sense um, that these professionals are trained to some extent in domestic abuse that they ask the questions most importantly because often my clients will say they've turned up at an A&E with a black eye and nobody's asked them how it's happened. Um, so it's really important to ask that question but then to know where to refer the person to. Well, and that's the important thing, isn't it, about is there enough support for that next stage to happen? Yeah, exactly. And there is a lot of support out there. Um, there are many charities um, that specialise in assisting um, victims of domestic abuse, such as Women's Aid um, and Paladin, that have been campaigning for a specific domestic violence um, offence. Um, so provided the, the health professionals know where to refer to, um, then the victims can really be helped. And from the point of view of the figures that we're talking about here, obviously we've got a difference between the reported figures and the actual figures, and really there could be a huge difference between those two, couldn't there? Absolutely. I mean, I see lots of clients that have never reported it to the police, um, or anybody else for that matter. Um, on average, a woman is assaulted 35 times before she goes to the police. So if you think of it um, in that way, the vast, vast majority of domestic abuse is never reported. And we're not just talking about women here, of course, are we? There are men who are victims of domestic abuse as well. Men and children, yes. Um, but far, um, uh, the far biggest group of people is women. Uh, but yes, men can be victims as well. And sometimes it can be hard for them to feel confident to come forward about it. And listen, you obviously see the victims of this when they're ready to go through that legal system. What is it then that, that stops people getting that far, getting to that stage? Well, at the moment, there isn't a criminal um, offence of domestic violence. Um, so sometimes victims will go to the police and then are told, well, unless he hits you, there's nothing we can do to help. So they, they then feel very let down by the whole system. Um, so if the new domestic violence offence um, does come to fruition, then victims will be able to get help at the early stage, hopefully before it gets to serious violence. So are you confident that the changes that are being proposed are going to be enough? Does a more widespread overhaul of the system, is that needed? Very much. It's been needed for a long, long time. Um, as I say, the, the new offence will deal with psychological abuse. Um, which a lot of women actually will say is worse than the physical abuse because um, if, if you have a bruise then you can show that to someone and, and feel like people will believe you. Um, but the psychological abuse they feel is worse, it grinds them down and at the moment there isn't a criminal offence to deal with that unbelievably.